guys, this is Vanessa Joy. This is what I wear to weddings, um, and this is what I bring to weddings. For those of you who care what I'm wearing, I got this on Betta Brand, and I think you actually look up photographer dress. There's a pocket here. There's a pocket here. It's pretty great. Anyway, onto the gear, because nobody else really cares about the dresses. So, this is my main case here. It's a porter case. It's a little bit weird. Um, when you lift it up, you do have to pinch these two yellow things to get the handle up. And when you roll it, most people would think you roll it like this, but you actually roll it like this. And I'm showing you this first, because honestly, I think it's the most fun thing in the world. The reason it's like this is because you can pull up these little knobs right here and it becomes a hand cart and you can pack all the rest of your crap on top of here. All the rest of your gear fits on here. So it's really great, especially for now. Uh, you can see the rest of my bags that I have here. At some point, I'm gonna have to pile my light bag, my reception bag, all of it on here and it just makes it so much easier to get around. So, all right, enough of my bag. <laughs> Let's look at what is in my bag. I've got a lot coming for you, but first a little freebie. Download my free posing inspiration guide. You can download it in the link in the description below. All right, so like I mentioned, this is my main bag. So this is what I bring. Very important, first of all, wedding schedule, guys. This has all the pertinent information lists out, you know, locations, times. Uh, family members family list. Uh, I will give you guys a link that we'll put in the description to this Instagram video where you can get a copy of this family list that'll help you make family lists for your weddings. All right, so we got that. I'm shooting with the Canon 1DX Mark II, so there's that. I keep it packed uh, without a lens on it. And this is a Kawa strap. K-A-W-A, -A, um, and I shoot one body, so I just have the strap on and I'm assistant and I go back and forth between my lenses. Uh, they also personalize it there, which is really fun. All right, so we've got that. And then I have seven lenses that I bring with me. It's probably a little overkill, but <laughs> I really like my lenses. If you are a, a photographer, an event photographer, and you're wondering what lenses you should have, have one wide, one medium, one close up. So focal length, a wide one, around 24 is probably good. Some medium range, the 50 would be my recommendation and a longer one, the 135 or maybe a 70 to 200. I also recommend a macro because you're gonna have to photograph those wedding rings, right? All right, so what I've got here, I've got my Canon 100 2.8 macro lens. All right, there's that one. I really only use it for photographing the rings, so there's that. Oops, let's keep that on. I'm very, very particular about keeping all the caps on. This is the 135 2.0. Again, this is all Canon, but whatever you're shooting, find the equivalent. Other brands make other lenses, though none of them are as good as the 85 1.4 with image stabilization that just came out with Canon. I love this lens. I've been using this one a lot, especially since the focus is a lot faster. This is my jam. Uh, we've got the 24 here, and I do shoot all prime, so I'm switching around my lenses a lot. I do use my lenses with intention, so when I plop on the 24, I'm gonna walk around and shoot all of my wide shots, and then I'll come back and I'll plop on, here we go, the 50, right? And I'll shoot all the medium shots, and then I'll go back and shoot, uh, plop on, here we go, 70 to 200 and then do all my close-up shots. So I'm very intentional about that. This is the Mark II version of the 70 to 200 2.8. I don't have the Mark III version yet, and I do want that 70 to 200 4.0, that Mark II version that just came out is an awesome, awesome lens. Actually, it would be great for today since we have an outdoor ceremony. Anyway, my most used lens is this 51.2. I get asked that a lot. So the 51.2 is just versatile. It focuses fast. I can photograph anything. I can photograph families, landscapes, people, nighttime shots, details, everything with this lens. If I, if everything broke in this kit and I had to choose just one lens that didn't break, it would be this 50. Uh, and the other one I have here is the 35. All right, so all the prime lenses, that beautiful Canon red stripe, right? I've got my extra battery here. I've got my pro photo transmitters. I do just keep the backup here in case the batteries die. I'm not like swapping out batteries. I just swap out to the other uh, transmitter. So that's there. I've got my memory cards. Oh, I've got the pro photo A1 here with the diffuser and the wide angle thing on top. 
All right, I love my Profoto A1, it's awesome. I've got the gels in here. So the gels, I use those a lot. And then I have the bounce card. All right, so all the off-camera light. I also have a mini reflector in here. It's just a little four inch reflector. Great for those ring shots. Oh, most important, we have substance, substance and airplanes, which you can hear probably. This is flight path to Newark where we are. Anyway, I use a Larbar and Bulletproof normally, if anyone cares. Also really important, cough drops. Not even just for when you're sick, but sometimes if I'm in a, like at church and you can hear everything I do and I don't want to cough, I'll have to keep cough drop in my mouth. Oh, and this is really actually very fun. These are business cards and I did an engagement session with the couple and these are pictures of the couple. So I'll use these and I'll put them on every table or if somebody asks for them, I have these in here and I have more in my reception bag, which we'll get to. Uh, and then on the other side is how you get to see their photos. It says, aren't they gorgeous? And then has the uh, gallery link on there. All right, which actually, gosh, loud. Uh, it has an old one on there. I did customize the gallery. It doesn't say Smug Mug anymore, but I have to change the cards. Oh, another fun thing I have are these Show Me Your You cards. Show Me Your You. These are really cool. They're like prompts for uh, how to get natural expressions from your subjects. So we'll have a link to those too in the description here. Oh, and very important, Advil and Tylenol, because you never know. Uh, and shout wipes are in there too, and probably some other personal products I won't pull out. <laughs> All right, on to the light bag. So this is the light bag that I bring. Uh, I try to be somewhat portable. I used to have two bags. This is definitely heavier, but it has everything in one spot, and that's what we're going for. Modifiers, I'd love to bring a softbox, but it's not practical uh, because it's not built very quickly. It's a, you know, kind of cumbersome, and definitely I'm not going to have a big three by four, whatever, softbox hanging around while I'm shooting. So I pretty much use this deep white umbrella and I do have the baffle here, the diffuser. All right, so that I will use for larger groups. I'll use that for families, bridal party if I need it. Then I use the OCF beauty dish, the Pro Photo beauty dish here. It takes a second to build. The, the speed ring is right in here as well. Um, so it does take a second to build, but it looks so much nicer when I'm doing stuff with just like the couple or um, the bridal room by themselves. Ooh. All right, <laughs> there's nothing in the top part here. <laughs> here's what we bring on a shoot. First of all, backup A1 is right here. I do have my B1. This is not the B1X, so it's not the latest version, but it's perfectly fine. And this one I'm using when I need more power. Uh, if I were shooting like the families outside right now, I could use this very easily. And when it's not windy, I do put it on my Manfrotto stackable um, bike stands that I bring. But because I'm not bringing sandbags with me, my assistant is standing right next to this thing so it does not fall over because it's very heavy and very top heavy. If it is a windy location, my assistant will be holding the Profoto B2 because this just goes right around their arm. And then this is the actual head. And I've got an extra battery here too. And then that way they're just pointing this at people. Hey Mike. Hey. This is one of the video guys. This is Mike Simons. He's here with uh, actually my husband today. Say hey. <laughs> All right, and then the other stuff we have, extra battery. And then really important are the gels and the grid. So I've got the full uh, grid set here, the OCF grid set, and then I've got my gels. And I have pretty much these are the ones that I use, the color correcting ones. So if I want to create golden hour, like I'll throw, oops, like create sun flare, I'll throw a full CTO gel on it and then backlight them with that. Or if I want to, um, I don't know, create like more magenta sunset, I'll put this green light on my subject's light and then and color balance it. So these are the ones I use the most. And then I also have the colors that we play with. Every once in a while, if I want to throw some color somewhere, we've got that. All right, so that's my light bag that comes with me. And I'm very particular about where stuff goes. Um, not that I'm trying to be like anal retentive about it, but weddings move really fast. I just, I want to know where stuff is. Oh, and I do have my car charger in here too. Uh, just in case, you know, multiple locations and for some reason they used up all the battery on one of my lights, I can charge the light in the car, which is really cool. All right. Oh my goodness. 
really good workout on this. All right, come on around <laughs> and I'll show you the rest of the toys. Uh, first of all, extra pair of shoes, that's necessary. Oh, this comes with me all the time. This is the Glow 5-in-1 Reflector. It's the Adorama brand. It's awesome. It's like, I don't know, 30 bucks. Maybe it's less than that. I don't know. But I, I buy these like in bulk and I use it all the time during preps, for details. It's really great. And then I also have my Pro Photo uh, Soft Bounce for the A1 that's stashed in here. All right. What else do we have? We have my backup bag. Nothing particularly interesting about my backup bag. It just has my older camera in it and also um, another flash. This is actually one of my older uh, Canon 580 EX2s. If you're going to buy a flash, get that get that 600. That thing is awesome. Um, but it's just my older Canon 5D. 5D Mark 1. No, 5D. Not 5D. Sorry, that was a 1DX Mark 1. All the letters. All the numbers. Alright. But the most fun, guys, the most fun we have is at the reception. Ooh, this is my reception bag. And this is actually just like an iMac computer traveling case. So that's what I have. And this is where, this is where the magic happens. All right, so first of all, I have more of those cards. I have 300 of those personalized business cards in here. So this, uh, those photos, those business cards will go at every single place setting on the table. And I do ask my clients about this and they get so delighted that I've got these cute little personalized cards. So it's a really great way to get your name out there, your photos out there, all that. So that's that. And then we have, ooh, we have a portable hard drive. I've got my CFast reader and my regular card reader because I am taking all of my second photographer's photos the day of. I'm not waiting to get them later. I'm getting them, backing them up, and they back them up when they go home too. So I'm bringing all that with me. This is like, what's, like, surprise, what comes out next? Oh, this is fun, guys. This is the Fuji Film Instac printer. And then, of course, I've got, uh, there we go, the film here. So I do a same day edit, and often I do a same day edit with uh, Polaroids. I also use the Canon IV printer that prints out these really cute two by threes, and it's just through an app on your phone. So I'll edit my photos on my 13 inch MacBook that I have in here. I'll just edit a couple. I only need like eight of them to print, and you'll see why eight in a minute. Uh, and then just airdrop them to my phone and through the Instax or the Canon app, I'll print them onto the Canon IV or that Fuji Instax Polaroid. Uh, so what else do we have? Oh, this is interesting. All right, so this, if I didn't do their engagement session, and I am going to do a same day edit, I still want some business cards and throughout the day business cards to hand out. So these are old Moo cards, and these are like a ton of old photos of mine. <laughs> And that's the music we have for the back of this. If you guys can hear that. Anyway, lots of old photos. Just kind of fun to look at. Anyway, you can tell often I order normal business cards, almost not at all. So we've got those. Oh, and speaking of same day edit, I do a same day edit with roughly 50-ish pictures and it goes on this digital picture frame. This is a 16 inch digital picture frame. This brand is NYX, but I got it a while ago. I don't know that they make it anymore. Maybe they do, maybe not. But this goes up on like a cocktail table somewhere in a high traffic area, either with the customized business cards that I have or with the other ones. So that's that. And where's the fun thing? Oh, I took it out. All right. So the reason why I will print eight pictures, either the Polaroids or the Canon IVs, is because I've got these cute little accordion albums. And yes, you can get these at Adorama. They're called Fujifilm Instax Accordion Album. Um, and then I hand this to my client, like super surprised. Don't you love this music? I'm not editing this, by the way. Like this is, this is what weddings are really like, guys. Anyway, and they love it and it's a surprise. So I don't tell them that they're gonna get it because sometimes I don't have time to do it or sometimes I forget this at home. <laughs> and uh, either way, they either don't, you know, get disappointed by not getting it or they get really surprised by having it. Sometimes I'll even print out an extra photo for like the bride's parents or the groom's parents uh, and that's really great too. 
And that's pretty much it. Oh, uh, with the exception of a five hour energy drink. And, oh, this is really important. <laughs> More Advil, uh, but earplugs. You need earplugs because DJs are loud, bands are loud, and apparently people hanging out next to us in the parking lot and their car is loud. You wanna put these in right away. Uh, and then I always just have a flash drive with me. So this is really good if you have like the DJ and they have screens and you can give them some of your photos to put on there because you do the same day edit. So that's what that's for. Cool. Well, now I have to repack my bag because we have to go shoot a wedding now <laughs> at the Pleasantdale Chateau. I hope that's been helpful. Make sure that you are getting notifications for all the stuff here on Adorama's uh, Adorama Instagram TV and then make sure to be subscribed to YouTube to Adorama TV to my show Breathe Your Passion and hopefully I will be seeing you guys around Instagram a little bit more. Follow me at Vanessa Joy and you'll see weddings from see weddings. See pictures from this wedding. Pictures from this wedding. I gotta work on my enunciation. Anyway, see you later guys. Thanks.